Hey everyone, welcome back to the Joe Manasa Real Estate Channel. Before we dive into today's video, I want to share that I'm trying something a little different today about a recent story in the news. Did you hear? Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who's running for president, has made the home affordability crisis a focal point in his campaign. This is exciting to me because it means the housing narrative is moving mainstream and we might soon begin to see solutions to the home affordability crisis that threatens to destroy our great nation. For clarity, sharing this isn't an endorsement of Mr. Kennedy or any candidate or party. My goal has always been to promote meaningful action on housing issues. In fact, I'm planning on producing my own reaction video that will allow me to address points or concerns regarding the Kennedy plan for housing. First, I want to hear from you. I value your opinions. Watch, think, and please comment. Will Kennedy's plan truly benefit housing? Engaging in this conversation might lead us to some real solutions. Now, let's listen to Kennedy's pitch on making homes affordable. We've all heard stories of 20 and 30 year old kids who can't afford to buy a house and even can't afford rent and are moving back in with their parents. This isn't happening because young people have suddenly gotten lazy. Monthly mortgage payments for home buyers are up 20% just in the last year. And that's because interest rates have doubled. Meanwhile, the cost of the average home has gone from $250,000 to $400,000 just since 2019. And those higher home prices have also driven up the cost of rent. So now Americans are paying a third of their income for rent. That's the highest ratio since records were kept. So what's happening? Well, what's happening is BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard, these giant corporations which own 88% of the S&P 500, are going into real estate. These investment firms swoop in as soon as a house comes on the market. They outbid prospective home buyers with cash offers, they add that property to their investment portfolio, and then they rent it back to you or your children at the most exorbitant rate that the market can bear. So how can our kids or the typical American homeowner win a bidding war with BlackRock? By 2030, these giant corporations are on track to own 60% of the single family homes in our country. So BlackRock wants to be everybody's landlord and everybody's neighbor, but I'm not gonna let that happen. When I get to the White House, I'm gonna restore affordable home ownership to every American, and I'm gonna do that without raising the national debt. And here's how I'm gonna accomplish that feat. I'm gonna create a federal program that backs mortgages at 3% financed by tax-free bonds. These these mortgages are going to be available to people only, not corporations. This will drop mortgage payments by more than a thousand dollars a month for a medium priced home and allow your children to outcompete BlackRock in the market. So here's how it works. Imagine that you had a rich uncle who was willing to co-sign your mortgage. Well, I'm going to make Uncle Sam that rich uncle. It's not a giveaway, it's a loan guarantee that makes that property affordable to millions of Americans who cannot now afford it. This is just one of the policies that the Kennedy administration will deploy to create millions of new home buying opportunities at payments of less than $1,000 a month. We're also gonna change the tax code to get corporations out of the single family home market. And we're gonna work with municipalities to get empty lots and derelict homes back into circulation at low prices. As President of the United States, I'm gonna create a housing boom in this country the same way that we did it after World War II when we made home ownership affordable for working people. Thank you for taking the time to watch Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s housing plan. I'd love to know your initial thoughts on his plan. Your insights and feedback are invaluable to our community. Please leave your comments below, share your thoughts, and let's have a meaningful discussion. If you found this content thought-provoking, consider sharing it with others. We appreciate your active participation and look forward to hearing from you. If you want to see a video featuring my most recent U.S. housing market report, you can view it by clicking on the box in the top left corner of your screen. To see a list of answers to real estate frequently asked questions, just click on the box below it. Please remember to like this video, check out the links below it, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss anything.